Hello, welcome. In this video, we are going to talk about opaque schema. So what is the use of opaque schema in OIC? Everything we will discuss about in this video in deeply. I will explain you the integration. I will show you from where we will use that one everything in the details. So before going to start, I request you to if you have not subscribed this channel yet, please subscribe this channel and don't forget to like this video. Let's begin. So whenever we are saying that a schema, a schema, it means that the something like the structure of that file, we can say that. So whenever we are saying that a schema, it means we are going to define that the structure, what kind of file we are going to receive, how many columns are there in that file and all everything. But there are some situation where we don't know the file structure. We don't, we are not aware about the, the file, what kind of file that is. It is the CSV file, text file or any that file we are not aware about sometimes. So at that time we required even at the time also we required to get the file from somewhere else like get the file from any web services or getting the file from SFTP server or anywhere else. So at the time we need to specify a specific structure so that the, the OIC can understand that okay we are going to get the file but we don't have the structure of the file. That's why that opaque schema comes in the picture. So opaque schema is used to write a file in OIC without even knowing the structure of the file. So here you can see that this is a simple uh, the skin sort of the opaque schema. So it is nothing that in opaque schema what you need to do is that just you need to take uh, the code of that one. That take a copy of that code and just save this code with the dot .xsd file. XSD file. So that will be the schema. Instead of providing the file structure you will provide this schema only. So once you will provide the schema in OIC while writing the file or creating the file, you need to provide the base64 code only. You cannot provide a file reference or data. So as we, as I told you that whenever we require to get the file in a such way that we don't have a, the schema of the file, we will use opaque schema. I will show you in integration how we will use opaque schema everything. So when we are saying that opaque schema, we can use opaque schema in two, two places. The first place is we can create the file in OIC or we can we can write the file in in SFTP server at a time also we don't have any specific schema. So whenever we are saying that we have to use the opaque schema we have to provide the base64 code in term of using the schema in term of that writing the schema writing the file in OIC. Whenever we are using opaque schema and providing the base64 code, it will return back the file reference. It will generate the file on a specific OIC location and it will generate the file reference for that. I will show you the same in integration. So let's begin. So here you can see this is the opaque schema. You can find this code over internet or I will provide the link of this code. You can download the file and just save the file with the name of .xsd extension. You can provide any name. The extension should be xsd. So this is the opaque schema code. You can see in this schema you can easily identify that the name has opaque element and the type is base64 binary. It means that this opaque schema will accept base64 code. So from where we can use that one? In the real time scenarios if you will see we are creating integration to call the BI report and we know that whenever we are calling the BI report using SOAP it is returning back the base64 code. So what we need to do is that we need to convert that base64 code into actual file format, actual file references. So how we can do that one? That's why we have option for write operation in the stage activity. So we will select here a stage operation and here we will select the operation as write and we will provide the opaque schema. So let's here see. So I will use write bi report a stage. I will give the name as something like that. And next, here we have to select the write file as we have to create the file in OIC. That's why we will select write. And here we have to specify the name. What kind of name we are going to provide to the file, and in where, from where, like in which location in OIC we are going to save the file. This is a temporary location, right? So I will provide the name as report file dot csv as i know that that the this is the csv file that's why i given the name as csv and here we have to provide the space directory and that directory will be the oic directory right so i will provide suppose like temp so what it will do it will create a file with the name of that the report file dot csv and place the file in the slash temp directory in oic virtual directory right 
next here it's asked for the schema and yeah we don't we don't have any sp specific schema right so what we have we have a schema as an opaque schema so i will select that xml xsd document and once we will move to the next here we have to upload the schema so we will upload opaque schema here right i will choose the file from my di directory local directory and select the file here so here i have selected the opaque schema.xsd file and once you will see once we added the schema here we have the element as opaque element so this is the same element we find here opaque element right and it will ask the base64 code so now once we will go to next it will not ask the file reference file structure no, nothing just done so now as i told you that whenever we are going to add opaque schema we have to provide the file as structure as a base64 code and we know that from the bi report we are getting base64 code only so what we will do response of this endpoint we will map here so the you what this integration what going to do is that this integration is going to execute the soap connection to call the bi report and in the response of this one we will get the report data in base64 code and the same base64 code we will map here while writing the file so here let me map it's you can see opaque schema here we have to write the base 64 code and you know that we know that the, the report byte is base 64 code only of the report file so just i will map and now done so here you can see in the integration it's simply integration we get the data report data from the swap call but data in the base 64 code with the help of opaque element we converted that base 64 code into file reference and the file created on the specific location we provided here so now if we want to send that file over email or somewhere else we can use the same so let's let's send the file over sftp server only so here you can see this is my sftp server and suppose i want to place this specific file over here only right so this is the location let me copy the location and here i will add that the ftp endpoint to place the file over server i have already created the connection i will provide the name as write file ftp next here we have to use the operation as write and we have to provide the directory from where we have to write we have to write here in the directory and what will be the file name so i will not provide the file name here i will provide the file name in mapping as i have given the file name over there only right so now next so in mandatory i will provide anything something like that x next here i don't want to provide the file structure no next done and here we have to provide the file reference so we know that this opaque schema the in a state operation it will return back the file reference i will map this reference here so just click here so here you can see in the ics file you can see this is the file reference and file reference we are getting from the right stage so write bi report here you can see the response nev ics here you can see this is the file reference i map here and obviously we have to provide the file name also right this is the file name and here we can easily find the file name from the properties so i will map the file name here now done validate and close here you can see that in, in simply we use that opaque schema to write the file in oic without even knowing the structure of the file so that's the simple simple example we can use in our oracle integration to to achieve that the the opaque schema part right I will not schedule from here. I will just execute the integration directly. Go back. Sorry. Here you go. submit now. Submit. I will run execute the, the integration in Adobe basis. So right now in, in queue status, it will take a little bit of time to run. So once this will be submitted, you can see we will get the file in the specific location in this location only, right? So let me refresh again. It's in process only. You can see. So it will take bit. you can see that succeeded. So once succeeded, if we will move to the, the server and if refresh, we can get the file. Here you can see. Once I will open the file, you can see this is the CSV data we receive from the BI report. So this is the way we use that the opaque schema to convert our actual file right from base 64 code. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any other queries, you can make a comment on that. We will try to solve that query. Thank you so much again.